Hey ladies, I'm going to slide you down here if you don't mind for this part. Awesome. I'm going to slide you down to this part. Just so you're closer to the camera. Can't really see you down here. <clears throat> Here's your ball. Phyllis. All right, <clears throat> welcome to the final lesson of, uh, what is this, 252 backhands? Backhands, okay. So there's four of us today, which is awesome. It's the perfect number to have if you're going to have a small group, might as well be four. Um, so we're just going to do what we're going to work on. We're not going to learn anything new today. We're going to kind of wrap up. We're going to probably play most of the last half hour. Um, but in the meantime, we're just going to get a little, practice, a little more practice in our backhand. The one thing I've been trying to, or not one thing, the things, the themes that I've been really trying to hit hard on are 
Making sure that you're sideways with the contact point out away from your body. And making sure you're in control of that moment when your racket strikes the ball. At that moment, you need to have the correct swing path. Your paddle needs to be facing the correct angle. And you need to be making the right amount of contact with the ball. So that we're not over hitting it, we're not hitting it too hard, we're not hitting it too soft. It just needs to be hard enough to get to our targets. And that's why I always have targets down, is to help you hit to a target. Also, if you're going to be a good drilling partner, you need to have the skill to hit to a target. And the target makes it clear to your partner where you're aiming, so they can kind of prepare themselves around that target, expecting the ball to be somewhere in the neighborhood of the target. Does all that make sense? Okay. So we're going to warm up. We'll get Susan and Jane to go backhand to backhand, and we'll get Phyllis and Mary Ellen to go backhand to backhand. Um, just try and go backhand to backhand, hitting your dots. We'll start. We'll start with that as our warm up. Yep. Yep. Just right there, right where the dots are. Nice and easy. Oh. And you want to try and oh, we're way over hitting. There we go, a little softer, nice and soft. There we go, nice and soft. It's amazing what you forget in a week, eh? So nice and easy. All right, I'm gonna pause for a second. Okay, so if I'm, can I borrow the ball? Thank you. Yeah, just get, uh, actually I'll come over here. Jane, I'll get you around this side of me so you can see me, right? If I'm hitting to Susan, do I need a backswing if I'm only hitting to that dot there? No, I don't. I can keep the ball in front of me and just make sure I have the right contact point and I can try and hit the dot just like that. Yep. Now Susan's hitting like this. I would rather see her get a little bit sideways because we're practicing our back end. So you'll need to be on that side of your dot, right? Let's try that again, Susan. So we're just sideways. It's nice and easy. We're not hitting the ball very hard. All right? In a few minutes, we'll back up. But for right now, I just want people to be used to being sideways and making good contact with the ball. That's all we're doing right now. Okay? There you go. There's your ball. Are you able to get sideways, Mary Ellen? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That, that, that makes a big difference, doesn't it? There we go. So, pause for a second. So, if you stand that close to your dot, the ball's always going to go that way. So, if you're Pushing the ball that way, back up from your dot a little bit. Give yourself some depth. There we go. Try that. That's better. See how much straighter that went? All right. Let's get Jane and Susan correctly aligned. Susan, if you're going to hit a backhand, you need to be on that side of your dot. There we go. Now you can be, a, there you go, you can get a little closer to your dot here. I'm not quite that one. There we go. Let's try that. You're aiming for the dot. There we go. Aim for the dot. There we go. Okay, we're going to use Mary Ellen as our anchor. Everybody's going to rotate one around Mary Ellen. Perfect. All right, so get lined up. And same drill, nice and easy, just bumping the ball to our dot.
So you're hitting a little bit too hard, Mary Ellen, because you're bringing the racket back. You don't need to bring it back. You can just keep it in front of you. You can play tennis. Too. Yeah, exactly. That's much better, Mary Ellen. Much better. Not so hard, Mary Ellen. Slow it down. Nice and easy. Oh, good job. You hit the dot. Right on the dot. <coughs> Very good, fellas. Oh. Oh, you hit the dot. I, oh, two dots. Two dots in a row. Okay, let's pull our dots back right to the blue line. Put the, pull the dots back right to the blue line. Give ourselves a little more space. All right. We can continue. There you go. All right, stop, Susan. If you're too close to your dot, you're always going to be pushing the ball that way. So make sure you give yourself a little bit of space that way and a little bit of space this way. Okay. And then the other thing to think about is if you're dropping the ball right here, yeah. it's also going to, so you're also going to be pushing it off that way. So you need to get the ball out here. So I want you to drop it a little further away from you this way. Further right. away, okay. Yeah. That's be much better, Susan. Great. That was a great contact point. We're getting there. We're making progress. We're making progress. Much better, Susan. Your accuracy's gone up a lot. Good. Very good contact, Jane. Good try. Good job, Mary Ellen. You're not hit it, you're not over hitting as much. All right, let's rotate around Mary Ellen. One position. Oops. That happens. Yep, push it further out front. I really want everybody to focus really hard on hitting those dots. There we go.
There you go. All right, I'm going to give everybody a little tip. If you back away from the blue line a little bit, and the ball comes a little deep, you're in a position where you don't have to back up. If you're too close to the blue line and the ball is coming deep, you're going to have to, your energy is going to be going this way while you're trying to hit the ball this way. So you're much better off to be a little bit deeper as the ball's coming towards you. Step into it. Okay, so I want you to try to back up from the blue line a little bit more. If you can step into it, you're going to be able to slow it down. Okay, so give yourself a little space. Very good, Jane. Ah, I'm going to give you a little tip. It's going to make things a little bit easier. Okay, hold the paddle out. This is a slap. This is a push. I want you to push the ball. I want you to slap the ball. It's nice and smooth. You're just slapping it. You do it. So hold my hand. Yeah, I know, but how am I? How am I? What am I supposed to do different? Just focus on pushing. Just focus on pushing it more. See? There you go. There you go. So if you let it get too close to you before you start your swing, you're going to end up slapping it. So as it's coming towards you, start your swing a little bit sooner. Phyllis, you're, you're letting it get too close to you before you start your swing. You need to be making contact with it out here. So you need to start your swing sooner so you can make contact with it out here. See, so both those last two shots, just turn sideways, turn sideways. Both those last two shots, you made contact with it within that distance of your body. You need to be making contact. So you need to reach for it, reach for it, right? Okay, just, it'll come. You let it get too close, you'll get there. Much better, that was awesome, Jane. Back up, there you go, much better. Yeah, that's you're doing much better. All three of those were great. Huh? Yeah. Much better, Jane. Those are great. You know, you just you'll get better. So just keep doing that. It'll come. That's look at that. Yeah, much better. Yeah, good. You got it now. You got it. All right, I'm going to give you the same. I'm going to give you the same advice I was giving Phyllis, which is get the ball further away from your body so that you can hit it a little more smoothly and not slapping it as much. When it's too close, you end up slapping it. If it's further out, you give it more of a push. Huh? That might have been a little too far. Very good, Mary Ellen. There it is. Look at this. Everybody's backhand is getting better now. This is awesome. Very good, Jane. I like how far back you're staying from the ball. Holy cow, talk about improvement. Okay, let's rotate and then pull our dots back about 12 inches. Except you, you're gonna stay. There you go, fellas. 
and pull your dot back about 12 inches. There we go. Good stuff. This gives us a little more room now. All right, let's work on your toss a little bit. So get lined up. When we toss the ball, we're going to toss it under the racket, and we want to toss it out here, not here. All right? So try that. There you go. That's beautiful. Great toss. Great toss. Back away from your dot a little bit. Give yourself some space. Remember, everybody, Stay well back from your dot. Well back, no, not that way, that way. Yeah, so that you have room to move forward to hit your shot. Thank you. All right, try to hit the cones. All right, let's go, let's play a game now. I'm going to take one of the balls. I'll take that one. You guys are going to serve. And by serve, I just mean get the ball into play. And then, no, leave the cones there. You're trying to hit their cones. You're trying to hit their cones. You guys are trying to hit their cones. Okay, one ball, four players. And we'll just try and hit some cones. Yeah, try and stay behind your cones. I don't care if the ball bounces twice. That's fine. Um, just try and uh, try and hit the cones with your backhand if you can. Oh, very close. That's okay. That was a good one. Good rally. There's about 12 balls there, I think. Good. I like the way you reset that. Hey! Phyllis gets the first con. Alright, just reset it. Susan, you can serve. This is awesome. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but all the balls are staying in the court for the most part. That's awesome. Nothing's going way to the back, right? So the control is coming.
Oh, Jane, that was so close. That's okay. Doesn't matter who. Very smooth, Susan. Anybody can serve. Doesn't matter. Whoever has the ball. Remember, it can bounce twice. You don't have to run in front of your cones. Just let it come to you. Nice try. Uh, it, it is, yeah. Okay, pause for, oh, that's okay. We're going to rotate around Mary Ellen. Yeah, so in most playing pickleball, especially at the level you guys are playing at right now, most of the time the ball is not back at the baseline. Most of the time the ball is somewhere around midcourt. If you're at midcourt, you don't need a much of a backswing at all. In pickleball right so this is good consistent practice this is what we do in the training group for this for this level is just a lot of this just consistency practice at this distance hitting targets when you get really good at hitting these targets we move them back another couple of feet and then a couple of feet more and eventually you get back to the baseline but even at the level that I play at so few of the shots are back at the baseline other than the serve return that this is the best way to practice this distance. So. Yes. Well, and, and their forehand. People just, yeah, and I think it comes from other racket sports. You have to have a really big backswing. It's a very small court. You don't need much of a backswing. So you're better off to, to learn this in close and then gradually add a backswing as you move back. All right, let's try some more. See if we can hit. Try again. Remember to toss it out there. Give yourself some space. There we go. That was awesome. I got one here. Here you go.
Did anybody hit a cone while I was in the washroom? No? Well, then the answer to that is more cones. Oops, get together, you. All right, go ahead. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sometimes it just takes more cones. <clears throat> there we go. We can reset those. <clears throat> Whoa, so close. Phyllis, that was so close. <laughs> Haircut. Hey! Phyllis is the cone master today. There you go, Susan. There you go. Nice. What a rally. Oh. So does everybody know why this is here? Yeah, we want it below the height of the top of this. We don't want anything to go over top. So at the level you guys are at right now, 24 inches is enough. This is a little more than two paddle lengths. But eventually, as you get to a higher level, you want to be able to keep it down to this height. The ball. The ball, that's there. right. We, we want it to keep it below the height of this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead, continue some more. You can think about the height that your ball is at. If you keep it below the height, you're more likely to hit cones. I really like the way you're staying back from the ball now, fellas. It's making a big difference. Hey, look at the cone meister here. Everybody's hitting much better, even though Phyllis is getting all the coin, the cones. Everybody's hitting much better.
All right, let's rotate one position around Mary Allen. Oh, I almost hit your partner's cones. Oh, Jane, that was so close. I feel somebody else is about to hit a cone. I feel it. It's coming. Oh, good job. What's that? Yes. Yeah, it's part of it, yeah. Oh, so close. That's right over top of it. There, oh! Good job. What's that? Oh, I thought that was it. There it's gone. Chris, Chris is the champion today. Okay, let's pick up the cones and play a regular game. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you. Throw those in there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's play a regular game. Uh, let's rotate one position around Mary Ellen. Mix it up. Uh, Jane's going to serve. Okay. Are you trying to backhand serve? You're welcome to try it. Okay. Yeah. No, you, you can serve any way you like. Just try and hit some backhands during the game. Good return. Zero, zero, one. Two, I'm sorry. One, zero, two. Oh, nice try. Oh, good serve.
Oh, good drive. Good backhand. Uh, you guys. Yep. Zero three. Uh oh. There you go. Point for Phyllis. No. Toss it further out. Yeah, you tossed it to you, you return sideways this way, you tossed it behind you a little bit. You need to toss it out. Good backhand. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. Nicely done. One, three, one. Uh, you can drop it anywhere, it doesn't matter, as long as when you make contact with it, both of your feet are outside of the court. Out! Yeah, I shouldn't throw it down, but we're not going to worry about that today. No, it's okay, don't worry about it. One, three, two. That's in. Hey, there we go. And that's in. Two, three, two. Good pass. Two, three, two. Good backhand. Another good backhand. Oh, look at that. Side out. Three, two, one. Nicely done. You got a winner on your serve, a backhand serve. It'll be inconsistent at first. Fault yeah. oh. in the kitchen. Yep. <laughs> Blue line. Yep. You can't hit it out of the air. 
while your feet are in that. It's the blue one. <laughs> nice. It was nice. What's the score? Six two two. You're up, Phyllis. You're up. Six two two. Oh, good shot. What a backhand volley. Nice try. Out. Backhand, three backhands in a row, all in. <laughs> that is definitely one of Mary Ellen's strongest shots, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Great shot. That was a great shot. Two ten one. Good backhand. Two good backhands for Mary Ellen. Two ten two. Just drop it. Yep, there you go. Let's try. Side out. 10 2 1. There it is. Uh, no, 10 2 2. Second serve. 10 2 2. Serve was actually short. Yeah, it landed on the blue line. So, side out. 2 10 1. Good backhand. Great backhand, Mary Ellen. <laughs> Who's in? Yeah. Yeah. 2 10 2. Nice try. Side out. 10 2 1. Kind of right in the middle, yeah. Second serve. 2 10 2. Or 10 2 2. Is in. Game. Well done. Okay. Come on in. We're going to play another little game. We're going to start at 5-5. Five, five. We have about seven minutes, and then I have to start to do my wrap-up. So we'll, ra we'll rotate around Mary Ellen. Uh, so Phyllis, you'll be here. You, Susan and uh, Jane will be together. And uh, we'll start a game at 5-5-2 five, five, with this team serving. Is 
Is it in? Is that on the line? Okay, there we go. That's in. Six ten or six five two. Yeah, it's a little harder when you have to drop it that way, isn't it? Yeah, so side out, five, six, one. Second serve, five, six, two. Good, back in. Just a little out. Six, six, two. Over, out, two bounces. Side out. Six, six, one. Oh, well done. Backhand, it counts. You're fine, yeah. Seven, six, one. Oh, I got to get the door. You guys can keep score. Did you see the backhands? That was awesome. Backhand. Well done. Is that game? Was seven six one? Good. Well you guys that game took like three minutes. So let's try another one. We'll rotate one more position. Uh, so Jane, you haven't played with Mary Ellen yet. Susan hasn't played with uh, Phyllis. So come on over. Phyllis, you can serve. I'm throwing you the ball. There we go. All right, we'll start at five five two again. Backhand and a backhand. Was that in over there? It was in line? Okay, awesome. So that's uh, side out. Five, five, two. You guys keep score. Have you been, Janice, since was, was it yesterday I saw you last? I've been here all week, so I've been seeing people every day. Oh, my God, she's back now. She got back yesterday at 3 o'clock. Somebody said to me, Joe's not here today? I said, no. And as I said, no, Joe came walking in the door. Uh-oh. Oh, what a... Nicely done. So that's why we try and keep the ball below this height, so people can't do that.
Oh, what a backhand. And what a forehand. Oh, what a shot. If you're practicing your backhand serve, I wouldn't worry about the drop. Do the uh, do the toss drop. Yeah. Yeah. Backhand. Oh, on a good forehand. Well done. Okay, last point, and then we're going to have a conversation. All right, good. Okay, come on in. All right, so I think, is everybody here staying for the next class? You're not, but everybody else is, right? Okay, so we're going to have four for the next class, too. That works out well. Okay, so this was a lesson. We did four weeks of lessons where you're learning how to do something. Within a lesson, there's a little bit of practice, right? But it's mostly about learning how to do it. To get better at it, you to become consistent at it, you want to practice. So the way you practice is in your group, which is the T250, T250 training group. Um, it's on the website. You should be able to find it in your, if you're using the Sign Up Genius app, it'll be in your app. If not, you can get at it through the Cedar Ray website. It is. Yeah, it is. The T50, all, all the training groups are up for January. Right now, the T50 training group only has a section on Saturdays. Once the group grows, I'll add another section to it. But the good news is it's at exactly this time, 7.30 to 9 o'clock Saturdays. So you can sign up for it. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to commit long term to it. You can sign up week by week if you want. Um, it's an option for you. Come when you can. When you come, we're going to do a lot of the same stuff that we were doing today, which is just cones, dots, lines, practice being consistent, getting your backhand better, getting your forehand better, learning how to volley. Within the training groups, there's, there's some teaching that goes on. They're not formal lessons. We've emphasized more the learn to or and the practice element rather than the how to. Um, but of course, if somebody's got problems with like a contact point or a swing path or whatever, I'm going to provide correction. So that's your, your next step once you're through the lessons is get in the practice groups. Okay, so I yep. signed up and the only one that showed that was available was January 27th. Yep, for now. Oh, for now. Yeah, and I will add more dates. Uh, as it goes on. Yeah, okay. okay. So the next available one is the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't see it. So there's nothing. Nothing yet, uh, and there won't be for the 250 because there's a, there's a two or three weekends where there's other stuff going on, and then we're going to settle into long term uh, the training the 250 training group. And as the group builds and gets more members in it, and there's we're going to get to a point where everybody can't sign up. I'm going to have to add another section, right? And I have the option of adding a second court, so I could have two courts at 250 and one court at 300. So depending on which groups are more interested in training, I will add courts and take away courts. Yeah, I'll be, I'll, I'll be able to tell you that. So uh, 100 is just the learn to, right? So how to play pickleball, how to, like the very first step. But once you're into training groups, the lowest level we have is 250. That's the starter level. And most people will get through the 250 group fairly quickly. Um, but you do need to, you really do need to become consistent on your forehand and your backhand. Um, don't put pressure on yourself to climb the numbers. Don't, do not put pressure on yourself. 
whatever level you're having fun and success at, that's going to be your level. It's not important that we all that everybody's up at the 5.0 level. For most people, that's not realistic. So just find a level with people that you're comfortable with and you're having fun where you're succeeding, and that's going to be your level. Everything. I some days we might work on backhand. Some days we'll work. I rarely, in a training group, will isolate backhand. We'll usually work on ground strokes or volleys or serves, serve returns or you know what I mean. It's, no, no, okay. no. Your forehand's good enough. I mean, you, you, you. A lot of people want to just learn how to do something and then go practice on their own. That's what lessons are about. If you want to learn how to do it and then practice here, we have that option as well. So some people, like especially people from other clubs or people who have other people to practice with, they just want the lesson part. We offer both. So, yep. Any other questions? Awesome. We'll have a little break and uh, we'll come back and we'll do our forehand. All right. We'll see you. We'll see you soon. Say hi to Harry. Oh, there we go. Tell them I like waffles. <laughs>